So let's jump into the top headlines. Bradley Cooper is dating British model Suki Waterhouse. The 38-year-old was spotted in Boston with the 20-year-old blonde. He's in town shooting his next David O. Russell film, which also co-stars Amy Adams and Christian Bale, and reunites Bradley with his Silver Linings Playbook co-star Jennifer Lawrence. Bradley broke things off with Zoe Saldana late last year and looks to be focused on wooing Suki, who's known for her quirky style over in the UK. She's been modeling since she was 16, popping up in major campaigns for brands like Pepe Jeans, and you can even follow her dog on Instagram. Katie Holmes bears some skin on the cover of Allure's April issue. The 34-year-old actress rocks a sexy poolside look and discusses how she's been open to expanding her family and hoping for a peaceful year after tragedies like Hurricane Sandy and the Connecticut shooting. Surrey's mom also shared the best beauty advice she's ever gotten. You may be pretty and you may be talented, but nobody will remember that if you're mean. Does Matt Damon want to give wife Luciana her fairy tale wedding? There are rumors that the couple will be renewing their vows in a lavish $1 million ceremony in St. Lucia, which would be much different than their low key city hall nuptials in New York City back in 2005. Matt has allegedly rented out all 78 rooms of a five star resort and is flying friends in from all over the world, including fellow celebrity couples like George Clooney and Stacey Keebler, and best friend Ben Affleck and wife Jennifer Garner. Robert Pattinson's latest movie, The Rover, is a wrap. Robert popped up in a Facebook photo with the film's onset chef at Rover's wrap party, sporting his new buzz cut underneath a ball cap. But luckily, his character's nasty fake teeth were left in the makeup trailer. Robert's handsome mug took a beating for his role in the futuristic crime thriller set in the Australian desert. Now for our lead story, Gwyneth Paltrow is Self's radiant April cover girl, and the actress and cookbook author dishes on how her strict diet changed her relationship with her husband, Chris Martin, and why being 40 is better than 26 with an Oscar. Joining me to chat about Gwyneth Paltrow's inner, uh, revealing interview is Pop Sugar editor Lauren Turner. Hi. Hello. So we've heard about Gwyneth's um, diet, and she's you know obviously talks about food a lot on her own website, Goop. But she's really revealing in this interview about how it's changed her life. She is. She said that a couple years back she was kind of realizing how much her diet was affecting her mental state. And this was in 2010, 2011 when she mm -hmm. was performing at award shows um, after Country Strong came out. So she said she was so nervous that she would drink a Guinness and take a beta blocker to try to calm down. Sure. And then when she was traveling so much she would just try to knock herself out with a sleeping pill and a glass of wine. So of course all this eventually led to her having a panic attack. Right. I mean, that's just a ton of pressure. I mean, she's right. out there singing as an actress, you know, on stage we saw her with like CeeLo yes. doing all that stuff. And obviously it just takes its toll. You've got two kids, you're frazzled. Right. A break, a little breakdown is bound to happen. Yeah, of course. So like her husband though, Chris Martin, uh, stood by her through this. Right. She said that, you know, she kind of had to look at who she was and change some mm -hmm. things. And, you know, even though that did change her marriage a little bit, she said that Chris has been up for the challenge. And so this also changed her diet, as we know, in a big way. Yes, it did. So her doctor initially recommended that she cut out all processed foods, so dairy and sugar and gluten. So this kind of left Gwyneth wondering what on earth she was supposed to eat. Yeah, that's not the exact word <laughs> right. that she used, but... Right. So <laughs> then that is when she released her cookbook, her first cookbook, in April 2011. Mm -hmm. um, so she could show people that you could eat more than just, you know, plain old brown rice on this diet. Um, and then she obviously has her second one coming out in mm -hmm. April. All right. So she doesn't eat like this every day. I think some people no. assume it's a constant thing for her. No, I think that would be a little bit much, but she says she does this kind of two to three times a year for about three weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she really made a point to say that she definitely still indulges. You know, she's not ready to cut out wine and brownies um, altogether. So that's good to hear. And it sounds like she might indulge in those while she's watching some TV. Yes, Gwyneth revealed that she loves to unwind with a little Homeland or New Girl. I'm not sure how relaxing <laughs> Homeland is. Well, maybe this her other habit which is having martinis with girlfriends would help okay. with that um, but yes she says she likes to just relax with her girlfriends which of course include you know Beyonce and Cameron Diaz and that she's kind of created this little sisterhood nice she actually said I'm less threatening now that I'm 40 and not 26 with an Oscar you know so Gwyneth is you know being very real talking about you know what her life is like now she is you know she's opening up a lot and you know she did recently talk about some heavy health issues that she's had but on a lighter note in a recent issue of goop she shared some of her favorite and least favorite red carpet looks from over the years which was pretty fun to look at yeah she was brutally honest about some of her Oscar she was. looks that she's just like yeah that might have been a mistake <laughs> we'll see her on a red carpet soon though uh, for Iron Man 3 yes so she'll start the press tour for that soon since the movie comes out in May
Okay, well, thanks so much for updating us, Thank Lauren. You. And if you want to catch the uh, full interview, make sure and check out Self so you can hear more about Gwyneth Paltrow.